Hello and welcome to the Temple of Enlightenment International Spiritual Center. I'm your host, Izakar Bay, and I want to thank you guys for tuning in. I'm the senior director and the founder of the Temple of Enlightenment, and uh, we want to welcome you to our Sunday teaching. Um, if this is your first time, please uh, like, share, and also subscribe to our channel. Uh, we are forever grateful for your presence, and we thank you so much. Um, we are continuing our series, and um, if, if this is your first time, uh, feel free to go through our channel and listen to um, the previous uh, teachings um, and also all of the teachings that we do have available. So we, we are uh, forever grateful and honored by your presence, and um, we look forward to your future and what you can manifest and create to take your life, your purpose, your destiny to the next level. We um, are continuing with our money manifestation mindset. And, um, and within this teaching, we uh, delved a little bit last week into uh, talking about uh, the stock market, talking about stocks. I would love to hear how you guys have been working out with that. If you have, please comment in the chat. Let us know if you were able to download Webull, if you used it, if you've been paper trading, if you have, uh, you know, uh, started to paper trade with stocks, uh, if you're looking into stocks, if you're looking into starting to get the mindset of an investor, of somebody who's going to be accumulating a mass amount of wealth and, and financial stability and freedom, right? Um, also, if you have, um, those of you that have reached out about the credit, um, getting your credit in order, getting your credit uh, um, stable and making sure that everything is up and up with your credit so that you can have access to do the things that you need to do. And so um, we we are forever grateful and we are honored uh, by your presence. If you let us know, you know, let us know in the chat. Um, oh, if this is your first time, definitely let us know what city, what state, what country you're listening from. But if this is your first time, uh, feel free to go through the description below, and there's a whole uh, variety of different services and different things that we provide. Uh, you can govern yourselves accordingly. Um, I don't know how many of you have been, uh, you know, joining or looking at the, the videos we had and everything we have posted. Uh, this week I was uh, into the the equity channel um, that the equity group that they have on um, on. Clubhouse, that's it, Clubhouse, that they have on Clubhouse, and uh, it was very well done. Uh, it's a great group. I uh, learned a lot. Um, really um, get your mindset really thinking and really open to, uh, you know, the different things about the stocks, the earnings, um, you know, their the, the assets, the debt, you know, all of those different things, but it really gets you thinking and really gets um, your awareness expanded uh, when it comes to uh, getting into the stock market and all that. So I would definitely, uh, you know, tell you guys if you're not doing anything to just go ahead and click on the link below of the equity, the equity channel, uh, the equity group and, and join. And, um, you know, um, it's an audio so you can listen to it. I believe that they have the replay. You can go back and listen to it, but, uh, it's, it's a, it's a great thing for you guys to get involved in it. As you begin to shift your consciousness and you begin to, start to open up and move into some different things, you'll see things really opening up to you. Uh, today, we're going to go and talk about the millionaire's mind, um, because I believe that that if, if we're going to do anything in life, we have to operate out of mind. Mind is everything. Mind is all. All is mind. Mind is all. Everything we do starts and begins in the mind. And if we're going to be millionaires, if we're going to be billionaires, if we're going to really start to really start to manifest and become money magnets and begin to start pulling money in, it has to start within our own mind. So we want to deep, deep dive into that a little bit today um, and um, also really, really look into that um, uh, in, a, in a different perspective um, as we get ready to jump into this. I want to get our um, spiritual mind treatment. Um, just get yourselves in a nice, quiet place. Get relaxed. 
get yourself in a position to uh, just feel free, uh, nothing constraining you, nothing conflicting you, just uh, be at peace as we get ready to go into the spiritual mind treatment to center ourselves, to put ourselves in a position uh, to to win, to accept this information that can be life-changing, that can alter our lives and transform uh, our whole reality as we know it, uh, based on us receiving the information and applying it to our lives. Take a deep breath, inhale, and exhale. Once again, inhale, and exhale. And once again, inhale, and exhale. In the vast expanse of infinite consciousness, I recognize the power and potential within in, within each individual to tap into the abundance of the universe. Today, I affirm and declare that I align myself with the consciousness of a millionaire, embracing the mindset and qualities that lead to financial success. I acknowledge the wealth and abundance are not limited resources, but rather a reflection of the creative power of the divine. I release any limiting beliefs or thoughts that may have held me back from experiencing the abundance that is my birthright. I open myself to infinite possibilities and opportunities that exist for me to create wealth and prosperity. I affirm that I am a magnet for prosperity and financial abundance. I embody the qualities of a millionaire, such as confidence, perseverance, and a strong belief in my own worthiness. I cultivate a mindset of abundance, recognizing that there is more than enough for everyone and that's and that my success does not diminish the success of others. I release any fear or doubt that may have hindered my financial growth in the past. I let go of the belief that wealth is reserved for a select few and embrace the truth that I have the power to create wealth in my own life. I trust in the divine plan and surrender to flow, surrender the flow of abundance, knowing that as I align my thoughts, beliefs, and actions with the consciousness of a millionaire, I attract wealth and prosperity into my life. I affirm that I am a conscious steward of wealth and use it to create positive impact in the world. I embrace the responsibility that comes with financial success and commit to using my resources wisely and ethically. I give generously, joyfully, knowing that as I share my blessings, I create a ripple effect of abundance in the lives of others. I affirm that my success is not only measured by the size of my bank account, but also by the fulfillment and joy I experience in all areas of my life. I cultivate a holistic approach to wealth, nurturing my physical mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being. I align my actions with my values and live a life of purpose and meaning. I release this spiritual mind treatment into the universe, universal intelligence, knowing that it is already done. I surrender to the divine guidance and trust that the consciousness of a millionaire is now activated within me. I am grateful for the abundance that is already manifesting in my life and for the infinite possibilities that lie ahead. And so it is, and so it is. Once again, I want to thank all of you for tuning in. If this is your first time, please let us know what city, state, what country you're listening from. Um, we are glad that you are moving into this great opportunity. We believe that um, we believe that this 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 time that we are operating in a new level of of understanding and a new level of of really 
uh, acknowledging uh, our opportunity to expand our growth and expand all levels of expansion. Now, we're talking about the millionaire's mind, and the millionaire's mind is what everybody wants to have. Understand, becoming a money magnet, becoming a millionaire, we get focused in on the physical aspects because you have a house and a car or even because, quote, unquote, you have uh, money in the bank. That's not really what the millionaire is. Those are byproducts. Those are the effects of becoming wealthy or becoming a millionaire. When we talk about the millionaire's mind, we're talking about the the, the ability to accumulate, the ability to strategically, and the one who can actually manifest it and bring it into fruition. The consciousness of the millionaire, the millionaire's mind, how does the millionaire think? How does the millionaire operate and communicate? And so within doing that, uh, we have to begin to look at the mindset here. And when we look at the mindset, I want to look at the planet Mercury. Yes. The planet Mercury, as they call them, the cosmic communicator, is the planet that identifies with the mind. Everybody listening to me, you have Mercury. Your Mercury is connected to you and how you think. If I want to know how you think, if I want to know how you communicate, and if I want to know anything of that resort, uh, it will translate to me and move into this particular dynamic that I can use the mindset, looking at my Mercury, looking at how I think will determine, will determine how I'm able to cultivate the millionaire's mind. Now, that's why I tell all of you all the time that it's important that you have uh, an astrologer, that you have somebody that you can go to that can sit down with you and begin to really tap into who you really are. Now, we talked about before, we talked about uh, understanding the concepts. We talked about understanding the concept of of the millionaire's mind. We, we talked about, we, we talked about the concept of the Nine laws of mental ascension, right? We talked about those things, right? We talked about the elements, right? How everybody has an element, right? Everybody has an element. And if this is your first time, you can go back and listen to the Mental Resurrection series. And in that series, I talk about the elements. But, but even though each one of us are operating in an element, guess what? Your, the planet Mercury your your planet Mercury that deals with how you think, how you operate, is placed in a certain element. Yes, your mindset, the, 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 the ability to cultivate the millionaire's mindset has been placed in an element. And so you need to know what that is because you need to get a grasp understanding on why do I think the way that I think? Why do I... Uh, understand things or why I don't understand. Why do I do things the way that I do? Why do I process information the way that I process? Why do I communicate the way that I communicate? Right? These are things that are very important. Now, Mercury is not just a planet, but it's a vibrant um, conduit of cosmic intelligence. Um, in astrology, Mercury governs communication. Uh, it governs the nervous system. It is our ability to perceive and process information. How does this relate to wealth? It's, sim it's simple. In its essence, it's created through effective communication and the exchange of ideas. Understand this. You hear me say all the time, money chases great ideas. If anybody listening to me, you, you have to understand, that's why I tell you, becoming a millionaire has nothing to do with the physical reality. The, the accumulation of, product, of property and assets and those things we call, yes, that's wonderful and it will happen. But, but you don't want to get tied to those things because I've always said this, that which is physical is temporary. That which is, that which is tangible is temporary. That which is intangible is eternal, right? So 
when we talk about um, creating wealth with becoming a millionaire's mindset, having a cultivating that millionaire's mindset, understand that what we are uh, displaying here is that your your ability for effective communication and the exchange of ideas. Ideas are what money chases great ideas. And what happens is as you're able to chase, as money is chasing those great ideas that you have, you're actually cultivating and becoming a millionaire. You're, uh, you're cultivating the millionaire's mind. Why? Because you are, you are understanding how to harness, how to harness the mercury power, starting to redefine your communication skills by listening and articulating your vision. You're having a clearer communication. You're more precise. Uh, with your manifestations, listen, you're seeing things differently. You have a greater understanding of things. Now, a lot of you may have jumped on last week and looked at Webull or you looked at some of the stocks or some of the videos I posted that are still in the description, and you may say, oh, I don't really understand this, so you didn't really look at it. But as you continue to operate and really start moving and operating and really have a, a, a hunger and a yearning for a millionaire's mind, what happens is as you embrace that, you'll start having a desire to really start tapping in into learning those things Uh, because a lot of times what we don't understand, we reject or we push away. But something about that that needs to be embraced uh, because even with, with, with understanding your mindset, everybody on here, we all want to cultivate a millionaire's mind. We all want to obtain the millionaire's mindset, right? Mercury also is good for helping us with decision-making, right? Mercury's rapid orbit around the sun symbolizes the ability for speed in decision-making. In the context of developing a millionaire's mind, quick, well-informed decisions are crucial. Yes, if if I'm going to operate in the millionaire's mind, I have to be able to be quick, well-informed, Make quick, well-informed decisions. They're, they're 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 crucial. But but guess what? In order to do that, I have to be able to really understand the concept of my consciousness and how to utilize it. Mercury teaches us to stay. To shows us how to stay uh, um, humble and also how to adapt, right? In our financial strategies, right? Always being ready to pivot. Uh, with the winds of change, uh, embracing Mercury's energy by staying informed and ready to act swiftly when the opportunities of wealth arise. So these are just simple things of 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 understanding the the millionaire's mind, right? Of 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 understanding that. Now, unfortunately, we're still on the tail end of Mercury retrograde. So that's a whole other way, a whole other day for me to explain that, right? But um, often feared by many, the, the Mercury retrograde is a period perceived to muddy communications and transactions, um, yet it is apparent to chaos, lies, golden opportunities for introspection and recalibration. Uh, people use this, this period to reflect on their financial plans, to reassess their investments, to redefine their strategies. Um, this is Mercury. Um, it, invitation to pause and realign with your goals, ensuring that when you, uh, when the planet goes direct, your plans and um, your plans are clearer and you, res- and they, they, they're able to move and begin to transcend stronger. Mercury also deals with technology and innovation. Um, I don't know if everybody here is using AI chat GPT, but if you're not, um, I think I am going to put a link in there. Everybody should be using Chat GPT. And let me tell you something. I've been using it for a little over a year now, and I use it for everything. Um, I know, you know, some people think it's the devil, um, and some people think <laughs> that it's uh, demonic or whatever the case may be. Listen, it's it's the it's the best thing since sliced bread. It will help you to, with everything that you're doing. Um, I heard Archbishop Ibn R. Jordan say last night, he calls it a multiplier, that it multiplies. But I just want to tell you some of the things that I use it for. I use it for everything. Um, if I'm doing a post, 
if I need a letter written, I actually, um, those of you who have reached out for a uh, consultation concerning your credit, I showed you how to use it to create the dispute letters, how you can use it for almost about everything. Um, you can have PowerPoint slides made. Those of you that are into the business sector, um, you can use it. Um, I've seen people actually take a picture of of an item and it's able to break down the whole item, take a picture of a book, it's able to tell you everything in the book, all the chapters. I've seen people take a picture of their food and it tells you how many calories are on the plate. So you, you can use this. You can use this for just about anything, but what it does is it saves you time. It also allows you to really expand your level of consciousness. You can ask, you can ask it anything. You can say, hey, um, you know, um, I'm thinking about uh, becoming, I want to become a millionaire. What are some of the things that I might need to, what's the kind of mindset? What's the kind of uh, goal-oriented thinking that I should have? And it'll begin to give you the different things that you need. You know, some of you want to write a book. It, you can write a book with your chat GPT. I mean, this is just a lot. I think that everybody needs to have it. And really, um, it really does a lot to you. Those of you that have it and you're saying, you know what, I want to get into stocks, but I really don't understand. And you can type it, you can put into chat GPT. How do I start uh, trading or how do I start investing in the stock market? Could you explain it? as you would to a 10 year old and it will explain it to you. So you can really get an understanding of really all of the things that it does. But in today's digital age, Mercury rules technology, the backbone of modern wealth creation, integrating new technologies and staying ahead in the digital trends uh, with vast opportunities for financial growth. Um, and so I think that uh, it's very important that, you know, we're moving, we already into the the AI spectrum as we know it. So technology is the way that it is. Um, you're seeing so many different things that are happening. I had a couple of friends of mine who last week went to Vegas for the NAB convention, which is the National uh, Association of Broadcasting. But what it also is, as I used to go every year, it's also an opportunity for you to really look at all the new technology, all the new uh, digital products and uh, the podcasting is big now. So you had a lot of people there that was really talking about podcasting and all the different uh, things we can use to elevate and push the podcasting uh, platforms along. And, you know, technology is everything. So, you know, um, it's just like I was telling you guys about AI, some people wake up in the morning, they don't even read their emails. They have chat GPT read their emails and give them a summary and then they tell chat GPT to reply to the email. I mean, this is where we are now in 2024. We're at a place now where this thing now becomes your assistant, and it becomes, hey, call Issachar Bay and tell him that I need to schedule a session with him, and that, that, this is where we are now. And so I, I think that it's imperative that we really get locked in, that we don't get afraid. Listen, I've always said this. You can never be afraid of the future because the best way to predict the future is to create it. And I look at AI and chat GPT and all these different things as tools. I, I look at them as tools. These are tools. Just like, for instance, uh, those of you that wear glasses, right? You take the glasses off, you can't really see. But when you put your glasses on, it enhances your sight so that you can see that you're able to see things better, you're able to operate better, it's an enhancement. And that's what technology does. It enhances. It makes things easier, faster for us. And so um, I think that it's something that needs to be looked at. You know, um, you know I, I, I think all the time that, you know, when you start operating in a millionaire's mind, you start looking at things differently. You start, it's things that wouldn't matter to you start to matter. You start looking at all kinds of stuff. You start looking at um, what's going on in the different spectrums of life. You start looking on, you know, um, things that really weren't on your radar now are on your radar. 
And so you may start having a desire to get into these things. Why? Because as your mind expands, guess what? A millionaire's mind is one who's cultivating, who's always uh, operating and utilizing great ideas, creating multiple streams of money, learning how to invest, learning how to move money around, learning how to keep money in circulation, right? We always talk about money is designed to circulate. It's currency, right? So when you start operating and looking into that, things begin to open up to you, knowledge and wisdom, opportunities, groups um, start to become available to you. Why? Because you're changing your mindset. You, you're having a money uh, a millionaire's mind. I'm thinking like a millionaire, right? And and because I'm thinking like a millionaire, well, always remember that your mind is a magnet. So so if, if you can operate the consciousness and think like a millionaire, then what do you think is going to happen in your real life? Things, the events will start to take place. Things will start to take place that will start to position you and put you in the right place. You'll wake up and say, okay, you know what? I'll buy a Forbes magazine. I'll buy a uh, entrepreneur magazine. I start buying the 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 New York uh, the um I, I start buying the Wall Street Journal and look at the financial part of it. I start looking at the different op operations of different things that's going on. I never watch CNBC. I I'll turn it on to start looking at what they're talking about the companies and stock market and these different things to get an understanding. And what I don't understand, guess what? I can go to my Chat GPT and say, hey, listen. I don't know what Vanguard is. I don't know what the uh, SP 500 is. I, I don't understand what that is. Explain that to me, Chat GPT. Could you explain to me uh, what's the SP 500? Explain it to me like if I was a 10 year old kid. Explain to me what's Vanguard. Explain to me what are EFTs. Explain to me what are options. Explain to me what are futures. Explain to me, um, you know, uh, how can I buy and sell stock? What does it mean to buy and sell? What does it mean? Cause, you know, what does it mean to uh, you know do this and do that? Understand, we have the technology, we have the availability to learn anything that we need to learn. I can't make you guys go out here and really move into a millionaire's consciousness, but as you really grasp for it, as you really pull for it, opportunities and the and the things that you need to do to get where you need to be will be available to you. You know, um, I used to watch a lot of TV. I used to watch, I got, I still got all the channels. I got HBO Max, I got Hulu, I got Netflix, I got Apple TV, I got Peacock, I got, um, uh, you know, what else do I got over there? Um, uh, I think I have, um, uh, Disney Channel, ESPN, no, Paramount Plus. I got everything. But what I noticed is that because I'm I'm moving and I'm operating, and believe me, the stuff that we're talking about is not me talking to you or preaching to you. I'm evaporating. I'm taking this in for myself. I'm actually preaching to myself as well, right? And so what happens is I've noticed that a lot of my TV time and a lot of the things that I used to watch, I don't really have a desire to watch that. Now I'm on YouTube 90% of the time. I'm watching videos about stocks. I'm watching videos about investments. I'm watching videos about uh, the, the financial market. I'm watching videos about, hey, uh, what's happening with the Federal Reserve? I'm, I, these are the things that I'm watching. So I'm more concise because understand what you eat dictates who you are. And I'm not talking about the physical eat, which means the same thing, but also spiritually, intellectually, psychologically, what am I eating? What am I taking in? And so my desires changed. I looked up one day and said, wow, I watch 90% I watch of the things that I look at is on YouTube. I'm on YouTube. Now I'm on Clubhouse. Uh, I'm join I joined the Telegram. There's a Telegram group from the, um, uh, that they have. And so I'm, 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 I'm watching videos, I'm learning. People are explaining to me the things that I don't know, the things that I'm curious about, the things that I want to learn about. I get a pen in the pad, I get, you know, and I start to write these things down, what I don't understand, because I have the ability, I have the resources now. My mindset is at a different place. And so if I'm going to, if I'm going to obtain and cultivate that millionaire's uh, mindset, there's some things that, 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 
are definitely going to change. There's some things that will change. Now, when, when we talk about visualizing wealth, because when we talk about the mind, understand the mind operates through symbols. That's why when you guys get ready to start meditating about money, you, you want to start using symbols. You want to visualize yourself uh, being, doing, having, whatever it is that you want. Um, if, and, and then whatever symbol you want to connect to money, if it's the dollar sign or whatever symbol, your mind operates with symbols. And so visualization is a powerful tool um, that we use. Mer and, and by incorporating mercury into your visualization for wealth, um, mercury will help you to enhance your communicative powers, your intellectual insight, connecting you, also giving you the opportunity to, to, to imagine and to visualize and to, in, on the canvas of your imagination, create new streams of income, right? Picture yourself navigating your financial plan with precision based on the fact that you are able to utilize your mindset. Your mind is everything. Your mind is the most powerful thing that you have. And so I, I think it's imperative that, that we, we, we look at that. As you unfold the fabric of a millionaire's mind, we need to start exploring how to align ourselves uh, with the cosmic forces that can transform our potential into success. Everybody here has a different uh, definition of success because everybody here is at a different place at a different level of consciousness. And I want you to know that you don't have to feel bad because you're not up there. Some people who you think are up there may not be where you are, but start where you are. Don't worry about anybody else. You have to know where you want to go. Which direction am I moving in? The journey to wealth starts through self-discovery, Right? Imagine for a moment a journey, not outside, but a journey that's inside. To the very core of who you are, the roots of wealth are, are as metaphysical as they are material. The journey requires a profound understanding of self beyond the superficial desires of wealth. Understand here, it's, it's about a deep awareness that the millionaire's mind is cultivated. When you start expanding your view beyond the ordinary, understand this. Once you cultivate a millionaire's mind, you're no longer ordinary. You're extraordinary, right? You see yourself uh, with every thought that you hold. The thought that you hold, it will begin to hold the vibration that will either affect or repel your wealth. Understand your mind will will dictate to you uh uh how things unfold in your life. Now listen, I, I you know you guys you guys know I follow Archbishop Eben R. Jordan. He said something again last night that I took and I love this this uh quote. He says your thought style will determine your lifestyle. I want you to put that in the chat. Your thought style will determine your lifestyle. How you think will determine how things actually go off and how things happen in your life. My thought style will determine my lifestyle. I also know that as you get ready to move into and cultivate this millionaire's mind, you understand that a lot of times the greatest thing we have against us is our own fears. And I think that as mental alchemists, we have the power to turn that fear into courage, right? I think that, that, that transforming our fears of inadequacy or scarcity into the courage to act boldly, right, each, each risk taken with a dialogue with the universe, right, being able to, to connect with our consciousness and our mindsets and not be afraid to really take that initiative, right, uh, they say your risk is your reward. That, that's what they say. And so what I believe is I believe that when we take risk, or those of you that are afraid to take risk, what you're doing is 
you are you're not you're not taking a risk as if you're just jumping out there blind because as a millionaire we talked about this earlier your ability to make great decisions based on the information based on the intellect based on the things that you are able to get a hold of so you're making wise sound decisions but you're not afraid to jump you're not afraid to do the things that you would need to done to do because your risk is your reward and so as as a as I'm cultivating my millionaire's mindset, I can't be afraid. I have to learn how to transform, use the mental, the tap into the mental alchemist within, and begin to transform that fear into courage. Somebody might be listening right now and says, "You know what, man? I I really want to get in the stock market, but I'm afraid because I don't know what to do. I don't want to lose my money." There's all. Believe me, there's. I'm I'm telling you guys. I'm I'm giving you the information, the resources, even at the lower levels, to just tap into it. Just look at it. Just play around with it. You don't have to get involved in stocks. You can do so many other different things, but understand that the reason why I push the stocks and I'm talking about these things is because as a, as you cultivate the millionaire's mind, you understand that you at some point, if you're going to be the millionaire, has to allow your money to work for you. You have to allow your money to work for you. And it's, the stock market is one of the easiest ways for that to happen, even at any level where you are. So that's why I'm kind of just getting you to get into that, to that, to that understanding of you having great ideas and being able to fund those ideas, but also being able to, when the money comes in, what do you do with it? Money circulates. And you, it's currency, and so you want to always make sure that money is working for you, and you're not working for money. That you're no longer you, you're no longer using uh, money to uh, using money for time, but you want to be able to use you want to be able to get paid for your wisdom, not paid for your time. You want to be able to get paid for your wisdom, not paid for your time. You know, once you start diving into the study of economics, right, and finances, um, I, I've always believed that that understanding economics, understanding finances, um, it's almost it's almost like understanding the ancient scrolls, right, or the secrets to wealth. I've always told you my definition of wealth is one's ability to fund their own dreams. Understanding these principles and learning the language of the universe, learning the language of value, of exchange, of growth, right? Nobody that's listening to me right now should be in the same place now that they are next year at the same time. The information, the knowledge, the wisdom, if you're listening to this, and you're actually acting on this, there's no way that you can stay in the same place. Why? Because once your mind expands, it can never go back to its original size. Once your mind expands, it can never go back to its original size. It can never go back. And so I understand my level of consciousness. I understand that I'm obtaining, I'm cultivating a millionaire's mind. I have to, because if it, in order to do that, I have to be able to think, walk, talk, speak, operate, walk, lay down, get up. Everything about me is going to be constructed as if I'm understanding and I'm operating as a millionaire. Well, how do you know what a millionaire does? Because I, I study. I, I go and I read articles that millionaires write. I go and watch videos. I go and watch YouTube. I go to my chat GPT and I say, hey, listen, what are the 10 things that every millionaire needs to do or needs to have, right? What, what are 10 things, what are the 10 things that a millionaire mindset, somebody with a millionaire mindset needs to have or needs to do, right? These are the things that we are putting into place because we are cultivating and we are operating into how to do the things that we're doing. Now, once you become uh, uh, abreast and you really embrace this information, 
your way to get to your millionaire, to become to your millionaire status, um, will be different from everybody else's. Because you have to become a millionaire in your mind before you can become a millionaire in reality, in, in your physical reality. As it is in my mind, so shall it be on earth. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth, right? You have to become a millionaire first in your mind. What does becoming a millionaire look like? That's the question. What does becoming a millionaire look like in my mind? What does it feel like? And I think that's why we talked about a few weeks ago or the week before, a week ago, I was telling everybody that when it comes to finances and money, and we're talking about money manifestation mindset, we don't need more money. We just need to understand what to do with the money when we get it. Because if you understand what to do with money when you get it, guess what? The floodgates will begin to open. It's not a problem with getting more money because you can go out there and get two, three jobs and make more money. But if you don't know what to do with the money, you're going to be in the same position you was with the first job. And they always say that you never become rich or you never become a millionaire or you never become successful, not so much successful, but you never become rich by working for somebody else. So that means I need to start letting money work for me. Instead of me working for money, I don't want to be paid money for time. I want to be paid money for wisdom. Every action should be infused with an intention. From the way you invest to the charities or the way you invest your time, the way you invest, everything in life is an investment. I've always said that everything you do in life is an investment. You should look at it as, a, as an investment. So if I'm sitting down and I'm watching Netflix or I'm watching TV, what's the investment? The investment is like, okay, I need to be entertained. I need to take a minute to get my mind off of what's going on, and I kind of need something that makes me laugh, something that makes me cry, something that brings me joy, uh, something that gives me the, the, the engagement or the entertainment that I need. Everything in life is a investment. Why am I watching this? Why am I looking at this? Why am I doing this? Because at some point, I'm looking at this to be, uh, to return on its, to, I, I want to get a return on my investment. Me watching videos, learning about stocks, me learning about what it means or what it, what, what's the cultivation or what's the, uh, how to obtain a millionaire's mindset. I believe by me investing in the knowledge and the wisdom to understand that, it will at the at some point return give me a return on my investment my turn on investment for time of reading books of studying of watching videos of whatever it is of an investment that I put into it I believe that I'll get a return on that money is not just paper it's not just change and coins it is an energy that circulates ebbs and flows right um we engage with this energy respectfully and wisely, visualizing, multi multiplying as it passes through our hands, right? We, we understand that the tangible and the intangible of it. And so that's why it's so vital. That's why you always are going to hear me uh, over and over again talk about as within, so without. I have to become a millionaire within before I can become a millionaire without. Now, once you start, and, and I'm a I'm a true. Uh, I, I what I, what I really want to say is, I'm one that can definitely tell you this is a fact. When you start operating in anything that you do, I don't care if you want to be a uh, R&B singer and you start going to the studio, you start studying R&B. Once you start putting your mind to stuff, once you start utilizing and moving in the direction of where you want to go. The, the opportunities, the things that you need to get what you need to get done will start becoming available to you. And this is the same thing with the millionaire's mind. As I'm thinking about becoming a millionaire, you got to ask yourself, why do I want to become a millionaire? Why? I, I just want to become a millionaire so I can buy cars and show them up on Instagram so that I can go and, and floss and, you know, walk around and tell everybody, look, I'm a millionaire and, 
that that's not the reason why you want to become a millionaire. So we have to make sure that our intentions are correct, that we're not doing this just to be doing this, but we're operating in purpose. We're operating in our divine uh, destiny of what we were created, what we were put here for. And so we, we were created to be this. We were created to do this, not to show off, not to uh, put it off like we're better than everybody else. But no, because we understand that this is our birthright, this is what we are entitled to, and this is the way that we're supposed to live and operate. My thought style is going to be my lifestyle. You can always tell somebody's physical life, what's going on in, in, in their head, what's going on in their thought life when you look at their lifestyle. Their thought style equals their lifestyle. So if you don't like your lifestyle, you need to change your thought style. And once you change your thought style, guess what happens? You change your lifestyle. Everything happens with a mind. Nobody listening to me right now just, order, just you know, you, you thought about this. You was like, okay, let me jump on here. Let me listen to this. Something inside of you intrigued you and gave you the unction, gave you the, the yearning, the desire to want to hear this. But you thought about it. It had to happen in the mind before you actually clicked on this to listen to this. Everything starts off in the mind, everything. And I think that us, moving and operating and moving into becoming millionaires and, and really grasping this millionaire's mindset, it, it really um, transcends. I looked at the word millionaire, the word millionaire in a numerological context. And what's, what I found very interesting is that the, the word millionaire actually equals the number nine. The number nine is the number of completion. As a matter of fact, the number nine also has to do with philanthropy. So you see a lot of millionaires and billionaires who are philanthropists. They give money away. They give money to schools and communities and all kinds of different things, right? But, but for the number nine, it just lets me know that as a millionaire, there was a completeness that happened. I would say this to you. The millionaire's consciousness, the millionaire's consciousness, the millionaire mindset, all of those things, when I heard it was the number nine, it took me, and, and, and I just looked at this, today, right? It actually took me back to show how connected I am with the universe because we just did a teaching on the nine, uh, the, the, the nine levels of mental ascension. Now, if this is your first time listening, go back and listen to those nine levels of mental ascension because each one of those levels, as you get to level nine, will definitely help you to cultivate and obtain a millionaire's mindset. And so I found that very, very interesting. You know, um, and, and, and be, being able to utilize and being able to pull that in and to understand the significance of it um, was, was very great. In the universe, everything is connected. There's no accidents. There's no mistakes which means that everybody listening to me, you are already a millionaire. You just have to tap in and begin to awaken the millionaire within you. You are already a millionaire, right? Nothing happens by chance. There's no accidents. There's no, there's no mistakes. Nobody listening to this is listening to this by mistake. There's not an accident. There, there, everything happens according to divine order, right? When you start looking at networking strategically and you start understanding that the opportunities that are positioned in front of us and that, and that you begin to start looking at um, how you meet certain people in life and how certain people come into your life. They say people come into your life for seasons and reasons, right? And how opportunities just seem to find their way and how things begin to happen in your life, nothing happens by mistake. Everything happens with your mindset. And as you continue to move and grow in your mindset, 
you'll see how things will begin to open and move for you. I just had a conversation. Um, I, I do. I, I haven't launched it yet, but I'm doing an uh, astrological podcast. And um, there's a gentleman called Bill Meridian. You guys can look him up if you want. He's a an astrologer that only deals with stocks. He uses astrology to, to do the stock market, and he's astronomically rich. Me and him were talking, as you're going to listen to it, I'm going to release it soon, but we were talking about the stock market, and he was telling me how he was getting the charts. He was calling the New York, the the New York, uh, uh, he was calling the NASDAQ and the New York Stock, stock Exchange, and he was getting the charts for the companies as they were trading. And once he began to get those, um, once he began to um, get those, once he began to get those those charts, he was able to utilize them to know about when when they came to their earnings. Um, he noticed that when the stock went up, when the stock went down, what he can look at into the into the aspects of the of the uh, planets, he was able to see all of those things. He was able to see all of those things in regard to. He was able to see all of those things in regards to the stock market. And uh, we talked about a lot. We talked about, you know, um, his beginning, how he got into the stock market. Um, you know, uh, he lived six months in the United States, six months in Vienna, Austria. Um, and uh, he's extremely wealthy. But we, we just talked about a lot of different things. Um, I knew about him from years ago because me growing up in New York, um, I used to go to a lot of conferences, and then he used to put his stock picks um, in this magazine that used to be public. It's not, I don't even think the magazine is available now. Um, but just to show you somebody who studied astrology and then took it and used it on how to pick stocks and how to uh, – he, be, he began to get clients. He had stockbrokers coming to him. And you listen to the to it, and I I let you guys listen to it where he talks about how how stockbrokers were calling him and asking him advice on stocks, and he was using astrology. He was using astrology to 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 navigate how to pick the stocks, and he noticed that when this happens, and and uh, and the earnings are about to come in, that that you know that this will be a good time to do this, and uh, right before the earnings come in, this is a good time to do this, and I noticed that when this happened. I noticed that, you know, um, the stock went down. And I noticed that when this happened, the stock went up. Um, but it was a great opportunity to just hear how he was able to have that mindset. Um, he, he, he does astrology, but then now he's operating from a millionaire's mindset. So now billionaires are coming to him. He's dealing with billionaires who are coming to him, and they're paying him millions of dollars to say, hey, listen, I want you to be on board with me. I need to have access to you at my disposal. I need to know when I come to you, should I do this, should I do that? But I just want to let you guys know out here, in, in this world we live in, the possibilities are limitless. The possibilities are limitless. You are your own bank. Your mind is the bank. Your mind is the bank. Your mind is the bank. And any time you need to accumulate to manifest money, you need to know how to go into that millionaire's mind of yours and begin to manifest. Your mind is the only bank there is. Your mind is the only bank there is. Not too long from now, you're going to see that we're going to move to digital currency, which means that we're no longer going to have the dollar bill anymore. And now we'll see how things begin to change with that. Understand, everything is consciousness. There's nothing new under the sun. There's no mistakes. There's no accidents. Everybody needs to have somebody in their life. They need to have an astrologer. They need to have a seer. They need to have a coach. They need to have somebody that they can talk to, that can guide, and that they can talk to and begin to n navigate and put the plan together 
of where I am now and where I'm trying to go later. But I believe that living in the now is 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 where we are. I believe that is now. You know, um, one of the books that I love to read um, when it comes to prosperity is anything written by Catherine Ponder. Um, so if you guys want to go to Amazon and type in Catherine Ponder, anything that she has is going to be phenomenal. Um, she has great affirmations and a couple of the affirmations that I love uh, that I've been working with myself. One says, I open my mind to prosperity and my actions naturally align to attract immense wealth. I am constantly surrounded by opportunities for prosperity and I have the insight to recognize and seize them. Every financial challenge is a golden opportunity for growth, revealing lessons that transform my wealth journey. My wealth is a reflection of my inner clarity and commitment to enriching both myself and the world. Always remember this. All successful, rich people provide a service, which means that it's not about me. We're not looking at it as what am I selling, what am I going to give. It's about how are you going to serve humanity with the gifts, with the talents. Everybody who's rich and successful provides a service. What service do you provide? What service do you provide? I had a conversation this week because um, April 17th was J.P. Morgan's birthday. And right before his birthday, he actually owned the Titanic. He, he, it was his ship. And he put the ship, he had the ship set up and it was getting ready to sell. And he had an, an astrologer. Her name was Evangeline Adams. And she was the astrologer that he went to. Now, it's amazing to me because J.P. Morgan was the one that said this. He says, um, millionaires don't need astrologers. Billionaires do. Now, that's a statement that he made, J.P. Morgan. But what happened was he goes to Evangeline Adams, and she tells him, do not get on the ship. He says, what? He says, it's my ship. You know, I, I'm, I'm putting together this ship. You know, the Titanic is mine. It's going to be a great opportunity. You know, and she tells him, don't get on the ship. Do not get on the Titanic. This is an astrologer telling him, and he doesn't get on the ship, and we know what happened and what happened within that. But it just goes to show you, even all the way back in those times, that the wealth, the wealthy, the rich, they understood the signs of the times. They knew that they needed some more insight as to what do I need to do and how am I operating and is this the right time to do this? Is this the right time to do that? That's why I tell all of you to make sure that you know who you are. You have an understanding of who you are. You know your elements. You know uh, uh, why you are wired the way that you're wired. You know what your purpose, what your destiny is. You have an understanding of, of how you're going to maneuver in life and how you're going to be able to really transcend from where you are now to where you need to be or where it is that you want to be. You create your own reality. If you don't like the way that your lifestyle is going, you can change your thought style, and then you know that it will automatically change your lifestyle. And so um, I, I think that it's a, it's a great opportunity and a great, great time to really transcend and begin to move into uh, the, the great possibilities that are in front of us, that are ahead of us. And so I want to thank all of you for um, tuning in today. Um, this was a great, great teaching. I hope that you guys got a lot out of it. Please, uh, like I said, like, share, subscribe to our channel. Um, the likes really help us. It helps us with the algorithms. It helps us to be seen. And what happens is as we're seeing, we're able to pretty much bring more people in, make our message go 
across the board so more people can see us and connect with us. So we want to thank all of you for um, a lot of you have been sharing it and telling other people about it. So we are uh, forever grateful. Um, we're, we're at the tail end of Mercury retrograde. So Mercury will go back direct on this, I believe, Friday, which will be April the 25th. It, it actually stops on the 24th, and then it will go forward, back forward on Friday the 25th. Um, so we will be able to uh, hopefully see things moving in a different direction. Um, I've been hearing how really, really um, effective this has been, this this, this Mercury retrograde with uh, all the stuff that's been happening um, with companies and all kind of a uh, you know, the internet and social media and stuff like that. But um, this is our time to shine. This is our time to maneuver and make things happen. This year is flying. I could have sworn yesterday was January and we're almost at June, which means that we're almost at the half mark of the year and the year just started, you know. So um, there's no time like the present, which means it's time for us to really get into the notion and get on the grind to really start maneuvering and working towards what it is that we want, what it is that we want to manifest, what it is that we want to bring into fruition. What is it that I want to, what is my lifestyle? What is it that I want to embrace? What kind of life do I want to have? There's no other time than the present to get that done and to start working on it. Now, it doesn't have to happen all in one day, but every day you need to be working towards what it is. Now, millionaires are created by their daily habits, not what they do last week, not what they did over the weekend, but their everyday habits is what, the, is what determines their, their longevity, their commitment, their tenacity, right? And so what you do every day will dictate and will uh, develop into habits and patterns that will be of the millionaire's mind. And so... We, like I said, we want to thank you, all of you that have been present. Listen, I want to um, offer you guys the opportunity for circulation. As we talked about moving, moving money into circulation. We don't spend money. We circulate it. As you pay your bills, as you buy, uh, spend stuff at the store and go and, and begin to circulate, when you go get your groceries, when you go to Target, when you go to Walmart, when you go to Costco's, you're not spending money. You're circulating. Believe me, and when you have a different concept, when you start thinking like that, you start saying, wait a minute, you know what? I believe that. I believe that when I go to Costco's, when I go to uh, Walmart, when I go to Target, when I go to these stores, I'm not spending money. I'm circulating because I believe that this money that I'm circulating is going to come back to me. Same thing. When I go to the stock market, I'm investing. I'm circulating. I'm putting my money to work. I'm putting the money to work to, to circulate. Currency moves. And so, of course, we're still working with the $26. Those of you that want to donate, those of you that want to sow a $26 seed, some of you have been sowing more than $26, and we are forever grateful for that. Um, if, if that is you and you say, I want to sow more than $26 or I want to sow the 26 some of you say, I may not have the 26 Whatever it is that you have in your heart that you want to give, that you want to donate, that you want to sow, um, we have four ways that you can do that. The first way is going to be uh, cash app where you can go ahead and um, you can um, that's going to be dollar sign T-O-E-S-C uh, but once again all of the ways to give are also in the description on the bottom of this um, we also have uh, PayPal and um, Zelle which are going to be our email address which is info I-N-F-O at T-O-E-S-C dot org so you can either use the email for um, you can either use the email for uh, Zelle or you can use it for PayPal, info at T-O-E-S-C dot org. And then we have Venmo. So those of you that want some of you use Venmo, Venmo is going to be isacarbay at gmail.com. That's going to be I-S-S-A-C-H-A-R-B-E-Y at gmail.com. Once again, that's going to be I S S A C H A R B E Y at gmail.com. Those of you that want to um, 
Also, if you want to send letters in the mail or if you want to reach us in the mail by way of mail, our address is also in the description. Uh, some of you have been sending letters and prayer requests and just different things. So, you know, that the address is there as well. So I want to thank all of you for uh, your presence, for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be with us. Look, if this teaching, if these teachings have meant something to you, if you got something out of them, I ask that you take this and share it with five of your friends or five people you know and tell them that, listen, every Sunday, same place, same time, uh, this gentleman gets on here and he, he really goes in and I leave feeling refreshed. I leave feeling engaged, empowered, uh, motivated, inspired, because I believe that I can go in and manifest and create my own reality. And so if that's you, then we are forever grateful and we realize that what we're doing is working. It's making an impact and lives are being changed. And so I want to tell you guys, thank you. And I always have to say this one thing. Your destiny is not a matter of chance, but it's a matter of choice. And I love you and there's nothing you can do about it.